vortex. I just found a dollar and twelve cents in the drive-thru. There was a whole dollar and quarters. Can you believe that? I can. But can you? <laughs> oh. I scrounge. I'm one of those people that would be like digging through my car for change in order to buy like a McDouble or something like that. That would totally be my story. I know that it's the story of a lot of people. I really meant what I said before. If something ever happens with me, talent wise, ho tip Jesus, I'm talking to you. If anything ever happens with me, I just wanna help people because I don't like money very much. Mainly I don't like what it does to the soul. But I think that so many things are a representation of money. You know, like control. Controlling other people, that's definitely money. Because a lot of these people that are in control, they have plenty of money. So they really don't need any more. But being able to control somebody else's mind, being able to dictate the way that another person behaves, that's money, you know? I mean, think about it. Just being able to manipulate another person's emotions. I know because, you know, I've dealt with borderline personality disorder. And the reason why I have overcome the majority of symptoms of this illness is because I've studied it and I have gone out of my way to understand it so that I, I don't behave that way anymore because it's wrong. And I really hate how people that have mental illness make all kinds of excuses for it and play the victim about it. That's just wrong. Because no matter how difficult your childhood might have been and how much abuse you might have experienced, I mean, it makes sense out of why these people end up in abusive relationships and um, doing emotionally manipulative things, but it still doesn't justify it. And so having awareness of it is really the only way out, which is why, you know, uh, the powers that be do not want you to have awareness of anything because they're more likely to be able to manipulate you if you don't know that that's what's going on. So, anyway, not to, not to start this video off with some sordid information, if that's the correct term. It probably isn't, but I like the term. So, uh, yeah, um, where can I put you, Vortex? Where can I put you right now? I could rest you on this chock full of nuts. Why do I have this giant tin of coffee, you ask? Because I work at a grocery store overnight, and so I like to bring it with me as a gift that I offer to my fellow employees. Especially since I'm late a lot of the time. I'm working on it though. I was actually a minute early the last time I worked. And my mom was like, so you were on time then. <laughs> Dude, a minute early is like, like for me, it was like I was five hours early. It's like, what am I doing here? Like, I, I don't even know who I am. You know, like, <laughs> I, I am so used to just being late. And I know that I need to stop doing that even here where they're used to me being on AG time. CP time is 15 minutes, AG time is two hours. Today, I was only an hour late, technically an hour and three minutes because I clocked in at 8.03, but I really do appreciate this job though, so I probably should act like it, but maybe if I just worked for myself, you know, I could be late doing what I say I'm going to do.
effort for me. <laughs> so nobody would be relying on me. But I mean, that's why that's why I'll have a bunch of videos on my laptop and I won't put them up. That's why I'll I'll tell the vortex, oh yeah, I'm I'm gonna do this, and I don't. <laughs> but hey, man, at least I'm I'm honest about you know how inconsistent I am. There's a lot of stuff that I am consistent about, though. You know, like. I really, really don't like technology, which is why I use a Canon to shoot my videos rather than a smartphone. I don't have a smartphone because fuck that. Um, smartphones were designed to uh, basically infantilize society and it's worked very, very well, in case you can't tell. And uh, social media was essentially designed for the same thing, specifically social networking. Now YouTube is a positive thing for creators who actually create, and that's what I'm trying to do. I think that I'm doing it, but there are of course gonna be people that hate my guts and have no idea why, because they're sheep. Um, I wanted to talk about being the black sheep. Uh, I'm sure that there are plenty of people in the vortex that are the black sheep of their family. Um, since I have what I call uh, invisible melanin, uh, I, I'm like an African sheep. And uh, this sucks <laughs> because uh, there's literally nothing that my family and I see eye to eye on. And I, I tried to talk to my mom today and she uh, just stop texting me. Don't you love that shit? <laughs> when they just go quiet. <laughs> you know that saying? Your silence is deafening. I hate that saying, but it's true. <laughs> Cause like, we're just talking about stuff that's like being presented in, in the news and like I was just telling her that it's all a bunch of bullshit, and of course, you know, she uh, recited a bunch of, you know, mainstream crap, and uh, I, I can't just, like, let that slide, you know? Like, we got into an argument yesterday about that. Like, she was telling me, oh, that's just your opinion. Like, what if I told you that everything that you read in the news, keep, keep doing the quotations, keep doing it because it's accurate. Um, what if I told you that, that everything that you read in the news was just your opinion? Okay, w wouldn't you be mad about that? Because it's something that you trust, it's something that you rely on, and you think that it's a fact, right? Well, for people such as yours truly, who, who do a lot of research, and fact check all of it and for everything that I read I try to read the opposite of it just so I don't get my signals crossed because I don't want to be wrong and I've said this before and I'll say it again the reason why I don't want to be wrong isn't because being wrong is such a terrible thing it's because I want to spread truth and if I'm not spreading truth then that makes me a liar and I'm not cool with being a liar and so to be told that all of this research that I've done was just totally meaningless and oh it's just my opinion you know it's just so frustrating man but yeah it's like being the black sheep of my family like every single thing that I think say and do is controversial everything that I think say and do is rebellious why do you think that I relate to the story of Jesus slash Jesus slash Yeshua. He was technically a rebel. He was technically a conoclast. He was technically subversive and controversial and the biggest fuck you to the establishment at the time. Okay? That's why so many people that consider themselves Christians like Donald Trump because they think that he's like that. I don't know about all that, but I can see where you get that impression, though. At least he's politically incorrect. There is nothing that 
has destroyed our ability to learn and grow and evolve more than political correctness. Like that is like the epitome of why like everything's falling apart. And and people will say, no, it's this, no, it's that. No, political correctness prevents us from being able to have conversations. Political correctness prevents us from being able to share opinions that are more dissident and off-putting or whatever you want to call it. We need to be able to have these conversations or whatever we think we believe doesn't mean anything. It doesn't have any merit. And of course, the same people that just go along with that line of thinking, you know, they don't care. They don't care about Dilly Squat. Fuck you. (laughs) I could go on these rants all day, every day for the rest of my life until they fucking kill my ass because nothing changes. It doesn't matter how much happens in this shitty shit shitty shit world it doesn't matter how many innovations they come out with it's just another version of the same shit but i will say that this is exponentially worse than it's ever been because of how like you can't escape it it seems you know in case in point everybody being on their smartphones it's like i can do whatever I possibly can to remain in my own little world but at the same time I have to look up from time to time and whenever I look up and I see everybody doing this shit or this shit you know that's just obnoxious you know it really is and it's even more obnoxious being told that that I'm a weirdo or I'm a piece of shit or I'm a loser because I don't want to fall in line with that crap you know fuck the sheep Y'all can go burn in hell. And that's exactly what you're going to do. Just to let you know. (laughs) Oh, God. I put way too many bananas in this smoothie. It's like I had three bananas, and they were brown. Now, I'm the kind of person that's like to waste anything. So I was just like, well, I'll put them in a smoothie, and then they won't taste as nasty. But I was wrong about that. You see? See, I'm wrong sometimes, I can admit. I can admit my errors, okay? Can you? I don't think so. Anyway. (laughs) Ugh, God, my hands smell like coins. Ew, Federal Reserve! (laughs) My hands smell dirty. They really do. You know, I was just, like, reading this chapstick. I wonder if my lips are going to fall the fuck off because this was made from Pfizer. You should just trust Burt's Bees. What if Burt's Bees is bad, too? I don't like Burt's Bees. They, like, it, it's a weird texture. No, but they, they, they use hemp to make this, supposedly. It tastes like shit, by the way. But, yeah, man. It's like there's no way to win in this shit society. So, it's best to just accept that you're losing. And you can win by accepting that you're losing. Because if you accept that, then you have already won the spiritual war. Because you're not angry about it anymore. You're at peace with the fact that everything's fucked. I mean, this stuff still pissed me off and annoy me and upset me, yes, but it's the way it's always been. <laughs>